Hi everyone, welcome to the serverless module for the NZ Microsoft Student Accelerator program. Serverless programming is a cloud computing model where you do not have to manage a server or handle any of its resources by yourself. All of this is handled by a cloud computing provider, in this case Microsoft Azure. In this video, you'll get a brief introduction to serverless programming in Twilio. We'll be creating a small Azure function application and integrating it with Twilio to create an app that allows you to send periodic reminders to your phone for any tasks that you may wish to complete. So to get started, log on to portal.azure.com and here we'll create a new resource from the navigation panel. We'll click on create resource and wait for it to load. And then in here, let's just search for function app. That one. Click on it and let's press create. So to create an Azure function, we'll need to give our app a name. So let's just call it reminder bot. And yep, that's available. Subscription, make sure you select the appropriate subscription for um, your account. We're going to create a new resource group, but after we're done marking your project, be sure to delete everything just so you don't get billed any surprise costs. For the OS, we're just going to leave it at Windows. We're going to leave the hosting plan as under consumption because that's what defines a function app and we're going to select we're going to keep the location to central us and the important thing here is to change your runtime stack to javascript we want to create a new storage account and i'll just stick with the name that it's given and let's just press create now just give it a few seconds to spin up your function app and we should be good to go so now let's just head on over to all resources and find our newly created app service, which would be this. Cool. Now that we've created our app service, let's head on over here to this button that says new function and create our function. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll be choosing the in portal option. However, you can see that you can also use any other editors to import and author your code. So let's just click on in portal and press continue. Over here, we're going to select the timer option that allows you to create a cron based function and just press create. Cool. So once you're in here, you'll be able to see something called my timer. This is your timer state and by default it's set to five minutes, but you can change um, the value of this just by heading on over to my files and clicking on functions.json and here you'll be able to see something called schedule in which you can freely edit the time that your fun that your function runs on. Cool. So once you've set all of that up, I want you to head on over to Twilio.com and here's where we're going to set up our SMS service. Twilio is a telephony service that allows you to send text messages. Usually Twilio costs money to use, but when you create an account, you'll get $15 of credit to use, which would be more than enough for this tutorial. So go ahead and press this big red sign up button and create your account. So once you get to this stage, you want to enter and verify your phone number that will receive the text messages from our Azure function. Enter your number and press verify and you'll get a text message on your phone number and enter that code in. Once you get the code, for me it's 7273, so I'll just enter 7273 and press submit. So once you've created your Twilio account, I want you to go back to the Azure portal and we're going to go on um, platform features, which is just here. And then under development tools, I want to go into advanced tools. Just click on that and let's go click on debug console and click on CMD. Cool. Now in here, we want to go inside. So you want to click on site and W root and you'd see your um, function that you just created located here. Mine's called timer trigger one. Yours could be different if you named it differently. So we want to click on that. Once we get here, you'll notice that there's no package.json. You'd have things like package lock and package all the swap files, but there's no package.json. So I'm just going to go down to my console over here and just type in touch package.json and press enter. Once that's done, you'll notice that there's a file called package.json created here and we want to click on this pencil icon that um, shows up. Once you click on that, you'll notice that there's an empty file. 
Now, if you go to the GitHub um, folder for this particular um, lesson, you'll see a, a bit of text that you need to copy into the package.json file. It should be located um, just below um, setting up your Twilio account. So you want to grab that text and just paste it here. If not, you could just pause the video and um, type all of this out should you wish to do that. Also, while we're in here, let's just change the name of the app here to include what, you're, what you've been calling your package. So in my case, it was timer trigger one, one. And then you just want to hit save and you want to go down here and type in npm install. And what npm install does is it's going to download all the dependencies that we've specified in the package.json for you. Cool. Once that's done, we want to head on back to our Twilio and just go and go ahead and click on skip to dashboard. And let's just get our API keys for um, getting to use with Twilio. So firstly, we want to get a trial number. So we want to click on that. So that gives us the opportunity to um, receive SMS messages. I've been assigned this number, so I'm just going to go in here and just press choose. And cool, we have a new phone number that we can now use. Cool. Now you're going to see two fields here. One's called account SID and one's your authentication token. Um, you you want to keep these a secret and you want to save these somewhere. And we're going to be using them um, soon. So let's head on back to our um, Azure portal here. Let's go to our function that we just created. So now we want to go into um, the time, the function that we've just created and go into the index.js file. And we want to create the constants that store the authentication tokens from Twilio. So what we're going to do is just create a const called account SID equals and what's the other one called auth token. So we just want to call that const auth token equals and we just want to go in here and just copy these um, two values into here make sure to include um, open quote and just paste them in there and do the same for your auth token cool now that we've had all of this we want to go ahead and create the uh, we want to use the Twilio API to send the messages from so we want to create a client so we're just going to go ahead and create our client here equals and we're going to reuse the um, Twilio packet so we're just going to do require and then in our brackets we're just going to put twilio and we're going to pass it in um, these two constants as um, parameters so we're just going to go account is id comma auth token cool so now that we've done that we want to keep this um, down here that is going to just log if our um, cron job is running late but we want to remove this and we want to ins um, use our client that we've created so i'm just going to go into i'm just going to use the client variable dot and then we are going to use the message method and we're going to create a new message In here, we'll need two. We'll need three things. We'll need the two. We'll need the from, and we'll need the um, body. So the two is the phone number that you're sending the message to. The from is the num uh, the phone number that we received over here. So you want to copy that, um, including the plus uh, symbol, and just put that in here as so. Um, make sure to rem remember to put commas after that and also in the two you can put your own phone number in there So I'm just going to go ahead and type my phone number in And just remember to put a comma and in the body um, since we're creating a and a function to remind us to keep our posture upright. I'm just going to type in this is a five minute reminder to keep your posture up cool and that is literally it now we just press save and run and we just 
pray to God that it works. So just a uh, mistake that I spotted was that I made a typo and forgot to put S. So it should be it should be client.messages.create instead of client.message.create, which is why I got this huge error down here. So just remember to make sure not to make any um, typos. And as you can see up here, we get a message. And if I click on that, it says sent from your Twilio trial account. This is a five minute reminder to keep your posture up. And every five minutes, I am going to receive um, the same message. So just a reminder that you can only send um, SMSs to the phone number that you had used to set up your account for the trial of Twilio. So you won't be able to send um, SMSs to any other phone number. So be sure to use the phone number, your actual phone number for setting up Twilio. Cool. And that is it. That is how easy it is to set up a serverless function in Microsoft Azure. So now let's talk about your assignment. Um, for your assignment, I want you to complete something similar to what we just did. But instead of just sending a um, generic made um, static message, I want you to use you, I want you to pull data from an API of your choice and then send yourself scheduled messages with the information that you gathered from the API. So what I mean is you should be running some um, API call and using information provided from that API call in the body of your text. So for example, you could use the Auckland Transport API to gather info such as bus timings and stuff that you can send as, um, as SMSs to yourself. Um, and yeah, so just get creative and have fun. So to get assists on this module, you'll need to have your code publicly available on GitHub and also complete three, the three Microsoft Learn videos that we've specified um, in the GitHub um, page for this module. You will also have to submit your screenshots along with your code in the submission portal that we provide to you for the Microsoft Learn videos. Thank you so much for watching this module and if you have any questions feel free to message the Microsoft student partners and we'd be happy to help you out.